Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready to go out over to LA for a luncheon with Kiehl's for my foundation. Okay, so I like to use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. The color that is closest to me is a bit too dark, so I mix it up with the shishado and they make such an amazing consistency. So this is the palette that I've been really into. Just so, so wearable. This is like the perfect palette. Like this is everything I want and it smells like candy peaches. All right, so I made it to the event. I am here. It is so cute around here. A couple of my friends are here. Familiar faces. It's always good to see familiar faces. Cute little. There's Roxette, my babe. Look at that. You're so cute. I love your and juice with a little bit of lime and hibiscus. Hi, Ollie. What's up? You're looking super cute. Look at her outfit. I love this outfit. I know we're both in pink to represent um, breast cancer awareness. And we have our little pins. Yeah, our pins right there. <laughs> oh, look at our table display. I love flowers, so. Oh man, guacamole. I had no idea I was right here. And you know, we started as an original apothecary in New York City Village. We're still in the same store. <sighs> Just got back. Now I am going to pack. I wish that I packed last night. I feel like such an idiot. I can't believe that I did not look at my ticket. I just kind of, I there's just so much going on in my mind, in my head. Um, I've just been super busy working on my journal. And so when my manager told me that we're leaving at nine, that just stuck in my head. And I'm like, okay, everything is fine. Everything's all set. I am leaving 9 p.m. on Tuesday to go to Canada. Like that was what I engraved in my head and I just didn't think I needed to look at the ticket timing because they spelt my name wrong and so I got distracted with that and the seating, they put me in the middle when there were so many other seatings available on the outer corner. I need to use the restroom. I used the bathroom a lot. And so I was worried about that and I didn't look at the time or anything. And this is my first time missing a flight, but I think everything will be okay because, um, yeah, everything should be okay. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. <laughs> you guys, I made it here at the airport. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't want to speak too soon, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna get there. Toronto. Here I come. I freaking finally made it. I'm in Canada. It is about 7 a.m. right now, and I have a few hours just to, I guess, rest. So this is my outfit. I really love this long belt look right here and it just makes this trouser stand apart from other trousers. It's high-waisted, wide leg. And then I'm just wearing my jacket with this. Yep, just keeping it simple, but also semi, you know, professional. Um, so yeah, this is the look I'm going for. I hope it's not freezing outside. <laughs> Made it, got my coffee. You guys, do I still look alive? Just what I need. It's more meaningful when you leave such an impact and the relationships you make than you know all these tangible things that you collect. And that's what I wanted to do. Because um, during that time, you know, I accepted myself as this lonely lifestyle, like this person who's going to keep on doing income taxes. Um, so I. I opened up my mind and I was like, you know what, I'm going to challenge myself, I'm going to put myself out there and I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I was, I couldn't hear you. Um, I Sorry. thought we killed it. Anna's yeah. amazing. Thank it's you. Really emotional. Aww. A little beautiful story. <laughs> and I think she inspired a lot of people. Cool. What can and, we do without you? Feed off of each other. Yeah, yeah. I think we um, we did very well together yeah. as a duo. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's very helpful. <laughs> We are so healthy right now. This. Except for the and fries. Then. <laughs> Just ignore. Look, look at the Brussels rub. It's vegetables. <laughs> They're vegetables. 